Today we're going to talk about the adrenal suprarenal glands. So there are two of these glands, each one is located above uh, each kidney. So if we assume that this is the kidney, so the location of a suprarenal gland will be here. Accordingly, each part uh, or each gland consists of two main parts. We have an outer cortex and an inner medulla. And each one of these parts secretes its own hormones. So we'll begin with the outer cortex. The outer cortex secretes three main um, types of hormones. First of all, we have corticosteroids. For example, we have cortisone and corticosterone. cortisone and corticosterone, and these hormones work on maintaining the glucose or carbohydrate metabolism in the human body. Next, we have mineral corticoids, mineral corticoids, and uh, the most important one is aldosterone, And this one works on maintaining the mineral metabolism in the human body throughout the um, control of the levels of sodium and potassium inside the kidney itself. So it increases the reabsorption of sodium in the kidney tubules and on the other hand it increases the excretion of potassium outside the tubules. The last type of hormones produced by the outer cortex of the suprarenal gland is the sex hormones. So, originally sex hormones are produced by testes in males and ovaries in females, but sex hormones are actually produced from the adrenal suprarenal outer cortex too. And uh, the increase or the decrease, or in other words, the Abnormalities of uh, the production of sex hormones from the outer cortex could lead to uh, masculinization in females or feminization in males and atrophy in gonads and stuff like that. So, this is for the outer cortex. As for the inner medulla, there are two important hormones secreted uh, from the inner medulla, and these are adrenaline. and noradrenaline. Or epinephrine epinephrine and norepinephrine. So these two hormones work on helping the body throughout uh, sudden states of fear, fight, um, excitation, and uh, this is done through increasing the glucose level in the blood. They increase the glucose level of the blood by increasing the breakdown of glycogen. Glycogen is stored in liver and muscles, and uh, when the body needs extra glucose, this glycogen is broke into glucose. So they increase the, the breakdown of glycogen. Accordingly, the burning processes in the human body will increase. It will use up more oxygen. And definitely, the respiration rate will increase. And of course, finally, the blood pressure will uh, increase too. So, that's the function of 
the adrenaline, noradrenaline, or epinephrine and nor um, epinephrine. This is noradrenaline, the NS. So this is it for today, and uh, until the next time, I thank you for watching and see. You.